Welcome back to my channel. Um, Q is in the shower right now and he's got the iPad on like full blast. So he's listening to his own little YouTubers. Actually, they're tw I think they're they're Twitch. They're not YouTube. They're streamers. But that's what's going on back there. Um, ignore that. You guys, this is a fun little video. I haven't done this, I don't think ever, but I got really inspired because lately I've gotten so many beauty gifting in the mail and I was just like, wait a second. Why don't I just sit down and do a let me try everything all at once makeup video. So some of the things turned out really well. I'm not gonna tell you what yet, but some of the products I am like, nope, this is not for me. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and just give it to someone who's gonna appreciate it. But however, I wanna sit down and show you guys what I got in the mail. So let me start with Soap Brow. If you guys know me, you know that I love Soap Brow. I've been loving Soap Brow for, I don't, I feel like it's two or three years, but it's been such a long time. And I had the white tub for the longest. First of all, I don't even know how they remember me because I don't feel like I talk about them as often as I wear them. The fact that they even remembered me, I was like, but then they're like, we just came out with this extra strong hold brow soap. Do you want to try it? I said, so they sent me everything that I need. They got, um, I got the whole kit. So this is their watermelon um, prep mist. This is what you use to get the product ready to just put on your brows. They sent me the little travel brush right here. Um, I've never had a prep bottle this big before and it's glass and it's really nice. And I'm just like, it's so nice to be gifted something that you really love. And then their own little soap brow tool, which I had. And I don't know what happened to mine, but I was like, oh my God, I remember because it's got this. When this, the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills and even the Beauty Creations tool has this flat side right here where you just kind of like go like this. But the soap brow, the OG product has a brush. It keeps all the brow hair separated while you're laminating it to your forehead. These things are concrete. They have never been this sturdy. Like they are not moving. I would not be shocked and at all in the king slightest if I was dunked underwater 30 times and it still did not move. I'm not kidding. And then I got a bunch of liners. And I've already opened this one, obviously. I've got the green one on right now from Lancome. These are their waterproof liners. And then their holiest of all the grails, their lash primer, their lash booster. Remember when this was popular in 2019 and everyone had it and we needed to have it in order to survive. And then their mascara, which I tried to as well, but let me swatch these colors. These are their new ultra precise waterproof liner. This is the shade Aegon, A-E-G-E-A-N. So Aegean, it looks like blue. What I really love about this liner is the way that the tip is so long and so strong and down to get the friction on. This is the green. And then this one is the syrup brown. It's such a perfect little chocolate mocha. Ugh, I'm obsessed. And then they have something new, which I personally love. And I think this is gonna be absolutely stunning with a cool tone shadow, like a blue or a gray. This is their gray smoky shadow gray. And it's a gray liner. It's really perfect. It's not too dark. It's not dark black like a black, where it can feel really, obviously black like a black girl back, but where it can feel really heavy and emo, if you will. So, and then, I didn't use any of these products um, today, but they are worth a mention because they are amazing. First of all, I think you guys know, if you follow me on IG, you've seen, I've been using Vegamore. Yeah, I've never heard of them before, and they decided they were like, hey, can we send you a PR box? I'm like, oh, sure, why not? Like, when am I ever gonna say no to free stuff, right? Right. Obsessed. So I'm like, you guys, thank you so much. I absolutely love the way that these smell. I love the way that it makes my, my hair feel. I don't know if anything's been growing because I have extensions in, so I haven't really been noticed. But these smell amazing. And if y'all know me, y'all know I'm a big smell girl. I love candles in the house. I love incense. I love all sorts of perfumes. Like, I love good smelling lotions. I love smell. If it smells good, I'm about it. If it smells bad, I'm not about it. This smells amazing. So I've been using this and they just sent, and they just sent their hydrate and repair conditioner and shampoo, which I have not tried. I want to get through the Grow shampoo and conditioner before I open a new bottle, but I do need a mask. And it came with a hair mask that I used yesterday and my hair is so silky. For those girls who have extensions, you know that they get dry and like split ends and brittle faster than our real hair. So I let this sit on my real hair while I shave my legs. So like for a good eight to 10 minutes, right? And my extensions are so silky. My real hair is so silky and hydrated. So, 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 so good. Highly recommend the Hydrate Mask. I've been really loving Vegamore. I haven't found anything that I don't like about Vegamore yet. This is not sponsored, but I would love to work with you guys, Vegamore, and give you guys like 
a real in-depth full review on all your products because I love them. So then y'all know I love Natrium. I saw the bottle on Pinterest and it really got me. I'm like, that is a sun one aesthetic looking body wash and I need a new body wash and I was like, F it, I want to try it. I got their OG bottle and left a review on my stories and tagged them and they saw it and they're like, you're freaking hilarious. Can we add you to the PR list? And I'm like, please, by all means. They just sent their clay body wash. And this is what it says. Our sensorial creamy clay body wash transforms from a silky clay to a luxurious lather. Enriched with French pink clay, the formula helps pur purify pores, soften and clarify skin. A combination of antioxidant bioflavonoids Sequilane and glycerin products and nourished skin helping increase radiance. I have no doubt in my mind that this does what it says it's gonna do, but let's just go ahead and try it on camera. This is what it comes out looking like. Oh, let's wash off my um swatches. Wow, this is really water these are really waterproof, they ain't lying. Okay, let's add some water and see if it'll get kind of foamy. Yep. I don't know if I just like washed half of it off. I don't know if it's actually gonna get foamy for you with this little test sample, but as you can see, the liner is coming off, so that's nice. But look how it's flaking off and not smudging off. I really, really, really like that. That's what I hate about some mascaras, is it smudges off. I feel like I'm just getting wrinkles the longer I have to sit here and scrub a mascara off of my face. Again, there's no scent but it cleans. So I'm really excited to start using this. I'm actually almost done with the OG bottle that I got three months ago. So the final thing that I did use is this whole box of uh, makeup that I got from Beauty Creations. I finally sat down and gave the foundation a try and I have their lashes on right now. I gave their primer a try. Never heard of this brand before, but they are a very popular brand on Instagram. So I was really excited to sit down and finally try them on camera. So that is all the products that I am using today for this look. It's a defined crease with a color liner and then the rest is just really kind of basic, but I love it. And it's really perfect for spring and summer, the upcoming months. So I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get into this video. Okay, let's go crazy. Starting off with brows. First time opening it, y'all, this is so cool. Look, it's literally a block of soap. Just hold on, because we just opened this, so let's just appreciate it. There she blows. Oh my God. It smells like a watermelon cherry slush from Sonic. Okay, I have learned to do my brows first and I did not pin my hair back. Secured. This is what it looks like. Okay. This is already better than the little beauty creation soap brow that I have been using for about two months now. A month? I don't know. Time flies. But there's just something about the OG product that is so nice. It's like they figured it out. They, they are the cheat code. You know what I mean? Sometimes you'll get another company that figures it out and does it a little bit better, but so brow is just not the case. But I actually let these dry a little bit, and this is drying a lot faster than my other soap. This is what I'm saying. As soon as it gets tacky, and you can feel it getting tacky on your head because it'll feel like you've glued something down. So when you know it's tacky and it's ready to be sealed, aka like laminated. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> it feels so good to finally. Whoa! Stop! Listen, I know I neglected you for a while. Um, it feels good to finally be opening this though. I gave some away over Christmas because I just, I love doing that, but I saved the stuff that I definitely wanted to try, except for like all these damn foundations. I just don't know what my shade is. This is the primer, Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Hydrating Primer. Yes, please. Oh, there's another primer, y'all. Flawless Stay Poreless Primer. Soothes and refines pores, semi-matte. Nah, I want some glowy one. This hydrates, brightens, soothes, and smooths long-lasting makeup. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, now the foundation. Oh no, oh no. This might be it. I do kind of feel like I should do my eyes first. So, you guys, here are all the Lancome liquid liners. I'm gonna try this one, the green one. So, I saw a cut crease with a really simple liner, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna do a cut crease, but with this liner, and it's gonna be really pretty. And my fingers are crossed, because they could be wrong. I like to start priming my lids with a concealer. This is, how else are you supposed to say this? It's literally P-U-R, purr, right? You can't tell me I'm wrong. Anyways, concealer all over the lid, and then I'm gonna blend that in and then set it. And then I've been setting with the Charlotte Tilbury pressed powder. I can't wait to move to the new place. It's got a perfect setup for my makeup station where I can just sit down and chit chat with you guys. I'm probably definitely gonna be doing more lives. But let me be real, 
per usual and just kind of vulnerable, gross, but let's go. I started getting nervous yesterday. Um, Q and I went up to Cowboys Fit up in Plano, which was a 30 minute plus drive. I, I know that he loves to work out, okay? But he started falling in love with the Plano area and it's so far for me. It's so far from my church. It's so far from my friends. And I found myself in another kind of situation where I was feeling like I know he would be happy there and I want him to be happy. So I started considering it. Let me tell you why that's not a good thing. I did that with my ex. Hold on. This is my favorite eyeshadow palette of the moment. This is Truth or Bear by Morphe. I'm gonna go in and do a cut crease right now and I'm using that technique that I did before with my little lash curler. I'm gonna do a kind of a lighter brown right here and then this orangey brown. I'm just gonna pack on the colors and let them blend together and let them vibe. Where was I? You know, Q has not, he's, okay, I don't wanna say like he's not happy, but we have had our fair share of struggle these past few months. You know, he lost his job, no one's hiring, he still hasn't gotten a job. And he wants to take care of me, he's a good man, and he can't right now, and I know that it's getting to him. And it's been draining, and it's been hard on the both of us. Obviously, I'm a Christian, okay. So I know the Bible. And one of the curses of Eve is she will always look to her husband. And so many people have misinterpreted that, but to me, it means, you know how guys can literally be sitting there on the couch and you ask them what they're thinking and they're like, nothing. And you ask, they ask you what you're thinking and you're totally thinking about them, how to make them happier. What do they wanna eat? What do they wanna eat? There are some women who I feel like it had to be their moms who taught them how to have a backbone and like, think for yourself, what do you wanna do? And to Love a man, yes, but also prioritize your happiness. And there's other women like me who don't have that. I've had to learn how to have that backbone. I found myself yesterday in the car thinking like, okay, well, maybe I'll consider actually moving to Plano. And after we've already applied and gotten the new apartment. I caught myself and I was like, Alicia, you can't do this again. You spent eight years with a man who was not the right guy, doing what he wanted to do, living where he wanted to live, going where he wanted to go. And you were miserable because you never saved anything for you. So I told Q that yesterday. So I was like, I would be in Plano with just my boyfriend and just content creating. And I did that before and I don't want to do that again. And he was like, well, that's what I would be doing at our new apartment. I would just be with my girlfriends. And I was like, like, what do you say to that? That made me feel even worse. And I'm over here like trying to set that boundary with myself and I'm really proud of myself. And then I'm like, well, this is what he's doing. And listen, if he wanted to, he would, but it's a battle for me because he's been struggling for so long, just consistent struggle. And I just want the guy to have a break, but I'm trusting my gut. We're staying with, we're staying with the apartment. I'm not, I'm not going to play now. What else I also thought about is I have also sacrificed to be here. Like, I could have moved into a different apartment and not lived with Quincy, but I really, you know, I did what I wanted to do in that situation. I wanted to live with Quincy, but it was a sacrifice. And I gotta recognize I did sacrificing too. So my old anxious attachment style way of thinking is kicking in and it's like, is Quincy gonna be so miserable at the new apartment that he, we're not gonna work out? And what I need to understand is stop thinking like that, stop expecting the worst, be secure, because if you don't work out, then that's what was meant to happen. So I have to break the pattern of thinking and just remember like, hope for the best and live in the moment, really. Teaching myself to stop expecting the worst has been such a life changer. So just over here changing my mindset, but dealing with it, bro, it sucks. Okay, I'm gonna spend the next 10 years blending. I guess what I've learned as a woman is to not be afraid to be selfish. Whatever is meant to be, will be. And if it's not what you wanted, then it's not what you needed. I'm gonna add a bit of a shimmer. It's a really, really light shimmer right here. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just gonna put this on the inner corner and then bring it up towards the crease and then down underneath the crease, creating a lighter shade right there. Okay, let's go in with this damn liner. <laughs> I always get so nervous to do my liner on camera. Oh, I love how easy that was. This is such a great long tip. Lit. Okay, I'm gonna do my mascara. So, Thrive. I need my Thrive. I'm gonna show you guys the difference so you guys can see what I'm talking about. When I hype Thrive up, I'm being dead ass. Remember when this was all the rage? I think every influencer on the planet hyping it up. So I was like, well, now I gotta hype it up. Oh my God. And it is so nice to have it back on the roster. 
It has been a minute, I'm not gonna lie. This is Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, ride or die. Holy grail, this is my favorite. If anything were to happen to this company, I'd be sick. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the Lancome. I'm doing one coat each. If I put another coat of Thrive on this thing, they're like beaming, they're booming. This is the mascara that makes everyone think I have fake lashes on. All right, let's go in with these primer. Okay, let's see how good this is. It smells like baby powder. That's my least favorite scent on the planet. It feels really silky smooth. It doesn't feel tacky. I don't know how I feel about that because I like my primer to feel a little tacky because then I know it's gonna cling to the foundation and it ain't gonna move. I don't like to go immediately in with foundation because then you're just mixing the two together. You're not giving the primer a chance to get on your skin and sit there and be the primer that it needs to be if you're mixing it with something else. So I like to let it sit for a little bit. This is FS 4.0. Okay, it came out really nice and easy. That's my means. Oh, he's telling me what he's gonna be home. You guys, this man, when he plays basketball, when he's out hooping, he could be gone for half a day. And it took me a minute to get used to that. Cause I'm like, where the f does this man think he is? The last time he did that, I'm not gonna lie, this was recently, I think it was last week. So I'm over my trust issues at this time, but the man was gone, gone. I'm like, did he move? And I'm like, hell no. So our gym is right next to us. And I just put on some shoes real quick. Started going down the stairs because I'm like, I'm, you know what? I'm not even going to text him. I'm not even going to claw him. I'm going to show up. This is the uh, It Cosmetics Beauty foundation brush. I do not think that this is the right shade, but I don't think that the right shade is in here. So that sucks. Cold story time. The way that it's sitting on my skin is extremely cakey. I feel like it is turning my face into a 3D visual representation of every pore and texture bump that I have. Definitely full coverage. Medium to full is a whole lie. Maybe it needs a couple minutes to settle. We're gonna be chill. I like to use my fingers or a brush, spread the foundation out all over my face, and then I will always go in with a beauty blender to just seamlessly blend it and melt it into my skin. Chick, I can tell. I'm gonna have to give all these foundations away. And they might be for someone else, but they are not for me. Okay, I put my shoes on. And as I'm going down the stairs, the man is coming up the stairs. And I was like, ah, there you are. He's like, where are you going? And I was like, to find you. And he was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah, you've been gone for two and a half hours, I forgot how long it was, but it was a while, and I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> he laughs at me, and I've laughed too, because I was like, I know it's kind of crazy, but I love you, bro, like, don't be stupid. Okay, let's go in with a ride or die, because we need some stability back in our lives. <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills, Fawn, I absolutely am obsessed. Uh, you are, mwah, you are the one. Yeah. This is a actually a concealer by Doll 10 in the shade Deep. And it's a great concealer because this thing does not move. But I really like to add it to my contour because you see how it's a warmer, look how warm it is. And then the contour itself is this cool shadowy shade. This puts some color back into my skin. Let me go in with some setting spray real quick. Okay, this is a little piece of advice for my hopeless romantics, the ones that get into relationships and when you were younger found yourself saying, I will do anything for you, I am a ride or die, and then you found yourself doing anything for the wrong person. And you look back at that time and maybe some of the things that you did and you cringe. I need you to understand, that's not the lesson that you were meant to learn. People like you and people like me brighten up every room that we walk into. But that doesn't just stop at a room. We brighten up people's lives. We bring light and laughter into the relationships that we have that is what is so unique about us and I believe in my heart that every single person has this just on different levels so if you're sitting here listening to me and you're like I, that's not me I'm an introvert that is you you were just meant to give it on a quieter scale to the people that are in your lives but if you were in a toxic relationship like I was and you found yourself giving that energy to the wrong person it drained you and if you find yourself saying I will never do that again what a waste of your light when you pour it into the right person those are the relationships that you see where they're like the 
three power couple where they can actually do anything. And the crazy things that they do is making their dreams come true. But not only that, they are the light and the life of every single room that they walk into. That's why you can't sit here and say, I will never do that again because you need to do it again. And I know that you wasted it on someone who took it for granted and drained and drained and drained until there was nothing left. You need to trust your instincts. The lesson that you learned is how to recognize who is deserving of that energy again. And that requires letting go of your fear, trusting your instincts and getting your hype girl back. Be that energy. We all love that energy of I will ride or die for you. That's my pep talk of the day. So during my pep talk, the concealer that I went in was Elia Concealer right here. I really love this stuff because it's 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 hydrating. It's not cakey. I, I'm not into cakey stuff anymore. Buildable coverage. I'm using True Skin Serum Concealer in the shade 2F2. It's amazing. I highly recommend it. And then the Laura Mercier setting powder, but this is a little rose shade that they have. It doesn't turn your skin pink, I promise. And now I'm about to go in with a new bronze that I got from Target. It's by the brand Florence by Mills. It's so freaking great, you guys. It's cool tones, but it doesn't really come out as cool tones. Am I tripping? Do I not know my tones anymore? But I've got it on this little angled brush right here. This one's from Morphe. I've had it for literally ever. I need new brushes, you guys. I have been doing makeup tutorials for years, and I swear I've been having the same brushes <laughs> this entire time. This is very lately. I learned that I was like going like this, and it was splotchy and horrible looking, and I'm like, what the? Alicia, chill. So I'm going in and lightly putting the um, bronzer on. <laughs> this is a little floofy brush and this is how you do my nose contour. All right, I'm going in by the way and I'm smoking out my under eye because it's my favorite thing to do. It makes my eyes look really big and pretty and doughy. I just, I love it. And I'm using my um, bronzer. Now I'm gonna go in with Thrive Cosmetics and put some on the lower lash line real quick. The blush that I just used is Natasha Denona. It's almost gone. <laughs> I do wanna put on some lashes. A bunch of other stuff that I got from Beauty Creations is a bunch of their lashes. Some of these puppies are really long, but these are short. I really like them. They're called subtle. These things, no, no. Unless I'm doing a Halloween costume. I'm sorry, this is a no. These soap brows are not moving. I just tried to like, th this side was looking like, I don't know how to describe that. And so I was like, well, let me just kind of push these back. The way that it concreted to my face, they would not budge. Okay, so you guys already know this, but I'll run third in case you don't. I get one lash and I cut it in half right down the middle. You see how one side will be fanned out more on the outer corner? That is obviously the corner that's gonna go on this eye. I'm using Velour Lash Glue. This is the travel size one. I have no idea where the big one is. I have a few of them and I don't know where any of them are, but Velour Lash Glue is the best on the planet. You cannot tell me otherwise. So what I do is I put the lash glue on top of the lash line, not underneath it, and I will actually put these lashes underneath my own lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna let the, loose dry, uh, the, who? the glue dry for a little bit and move on to my lips. The lip liner that I'm gonna go in is from Morphe and it's called Sweetheart. What the hell is this man watching? Okay. So I put the lashes on and then I, like I make sure they're on and then I don't touch it. You do not fix them just yet because if you try to adjust them and squeeze them together, they will just fall right off your lashes. So it feels a little weird right now, but let it sit, let the glue get even more tackier and then when it's ready, you can pinch the lashes together and they'll be flawless and seamless and it'll look like you don't even have lashes on, it's amazing. Moving on. So Mist by Hourglass is my favorite little lip gloss, lip oil thing right now. I need the hydration, oh my god. And it's the perfect peachy, like pink color and I am in love. So mash my lips together and let it hydrate my lips because it really is hella hydrating and I'm obsessed. One of these days, babies, we're gonna have our own space, you and me. Y'all, that's this is it. Let's just admire. I'm so Okay, so that is it. I really like how most everything turned out except for the damn foundation. Like I said, this might be, this foundation and these big floofy lashes might be for someone else. So I will be doing giveaways on my Instagram. Make sure that you're following me there so you don't miss it. 
um, and just giving these away to someone who's going to appreciate them. Like, that is the purpose. So stay tuned. Be on my Instagram. That's where I'm going to announce it. I don't know if it's going to be necessarily on like, you need to comment on this YouTube video and it might be because this might be the one that I'm like, go comment on this and leave a little dinosaur. I don't know. Or on uh, TikTok or something like that. But Instagram is always where I announce all my giveaways. So go follow me there at Alicia Ravel. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like the chit chat or whatever, come back and hang out. I'm always giving out my life lessons and what I've learned because you're always been through it okay so might as well like learn from me thank you guys for joining this video and i'll see you in the next one bye